Hello guys, how are you? In this short video, I'm going to quickly cover aliases in E2 framework. Aliases are often used to uh, reference to some URLs or um, some absolute paths. So aliases basically, basically are uh, keys uh, which corresponds to some value. And aliases can be defined and used in the following way. So we need to use E classes method static method set alias and the key basically here the first argument is the key of the alias the name of the alias and the second argument is the value associated to this key okay and in most cases as i said aliases are used to associate paths and and have a short uh, short key for this path for example like uh, home path and aliases uh, start always with at symbol so even if you start it without it, um, it means that it's an alias and it will the framework basically will start with it automatically. And whenever the alias starts, whenever the string starts with it, sometimes the framework identifies uh, that it's an alias. Okay, so aliases are used in many places, in components, in modules, and so on. Okay, so uh, I'm going to define an alias here, like home refers to like some path like home the code holic like public html or something like this okay so this is an example of alias so i can define uh, we can have multiple aliases defined uh, we can also have sub aliases like i'm going to define a domain which will be um, http e2 basic dot dot test okay and, and I can also define sub aliases so let me define just test and I can this is this is something test and I can also define sub aliases in the following way test two okay so this is a sub alias let's put here like test slash test two I can also uh, use other symbols in the alias, like test2.php, uh, test okay? So uh, please consider here that the framework doesn't check if there exists this file or not. We just define uh, that this value corresponds to this key, okay? And we can use aliases in the same way. So e get alias, and we specify here home okay and this returns the home string so we can use home slash something and we, this will identify that this is an alias and evaluate this and then it appends this slash something to it so basically finally this line this line line 20 will return the following text slash something okay it's really handy Let's use other aliases like domain is obvious and we can use um, test slash test2 and this just return will return the following string, okay? Framework gives us possibility to define aliases during the configuration phase. So if we go to the config web PHP, we see here an associative array of aliases. And here it defines power and npm, but it uses already existing alias when defining another alias so that's also possible so the vendor basically corresponds to the vendor folder in the project directory and if you want to define an alias which uses already defined alias you can do it also easy like at home slash http something okay another predefined aliases are um, e alias which basically corresponds to the E installation path in the vendor uh, we have app alias which uh, corresponds to the current uh, project root directory we have runtime alias which is the runtime folder in the current project we have uh, like I said um, we have web root 
which corresponds to the uh, file system, the uh, web folders file system. And we have web also, which corresponds to the uh, URL of the currently running application. It's basically a base URL of the request component. Okay, so that's it about aliases. And whenever I use this it and something uh, in my code, you now know that it's an alias and it's predefined in the framework or I defined it somewhere. So uh, the good way, the good place to define your aliases are in the bootstrapping and configuration phase. So uh, I would recommend to create maybe a new file right here, uh, aliases and define aliases in the config, uh, this file in the config folder. Okay. Yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time.